Today we are looking at 1 Corinthians 1, 10 through 17. Paul, as the word I is, Paul is addressing the Corinthian church, or the Corinthians, and he says, I appeal to you, brothers, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree, and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be united in the same mind and same in the same judgment. So he uses the word brothers to tell them that Paul himself and all of them who follow Jesus Christ are one. They are brothers, they are united. And so he just he's addressing that to them. And this part right here, Paul didn't have to add. He could have said, I appeal to you brothers that all of you agree and that there be no divisions among you and so on. But he he puts in this part by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to tell them that this is not something that he just wants to say. This is something that the Lord wanted. He wanted us to be united as brothers and sisters. So he's using this to say this is what the Lord wanted to tell me or wanted me to tell you okay let's go to 11 for it has been reported to me by Chloe's people that there is quarreling among among you my brothers so verse 11 starts out with 4 and if we look back to verse 10 I appeal to you brothers by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ that all of you agree and that there be no divisions among you but that you be united in the same mind and same judgment what four does is it connects verse 11 to verse 10 so paul is pretty much saying i address you guys that there should no, be no divisions because i've heard by chloe from chloe's people that there is division and quarreling among you guys so on the verse 12 what i mean is that each of you says i follow paul or i follow paulus or i follow cephas or i follow christ is christ divided was paul crucified for you or were you baptized in the name of Paul? What Paul is saying here is that they're quarreling among these sections. The people who were baptized by Cephas or Apollos, they're split into sections. And whoever was baptized by Cephas say, I follow Cephas. And whoever was baptized by Apollos say, I follow Apollos. But Paul is saying here, that none of them died for you. Christ did. Paul is saying that there shouldn't be this division of these two. You should all follow Christ because he's died for you. So on to verse 14. I thank God that I baptized none of you except Crispus and that guy, so that no one may say that you were baptized in my name. So in 14, Paul is really just saying, I'm glad I didn't baptize you except for these two and in 15 he says why he says so that none of you may say that you are baptized in my name or in other words you guys would not say I follow Paul on the 16 I did baptize also the household of Stephanas beyond that I do not know whether I baptized anyone else for Christ did not send me to baptize but to preach the gospel and not with words of eloquent wisdom lest the cross of Christ be emptied of its power. So in 17, he's really just saying that Christ didn't send him to baptize me, but to preach the the gospel. He's pretty much just saying, Christ didn't send me to baptize, but to preach. And he's just saying that's not what Christ sent me to do. He sent me to preach, not to baptize to where you would say, I'll follow, follow Paul. And so the main point that Paul was trying to say to the Corinthians is that is to stop the division of the members of God and to address unity in the church and to be together as brothers and sisters.